John Cow. If I'm not mistaken, if I'm not mistaken, and please, please correct me if I'm wrong here, but uh, you appear to have some very special guests with the band tonight. Would you please tell us who's sitting in? Blues legends Cab Mo and Taj Mahal. Yeah, baby! Thank you. Thank you for being here, gentlemen. Uh, we'll be hearing uh, songs from their new blues album tonight, Taj Mo. All right? Yeah. Thanks for being here, y'all. All right. Mm. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, my first guest tonight is one of my favorite actors, and I wish he was president. Please welcome the great Sir Alec Baldwin. Nice crowd you have. They are lovely people. We decided to have a nice crowd for you tonight. Because of you, we decided to have the best it's crowd nice of the week. It's chilly in here. <laughs> it's comedy weather. It's, it's nice and chilly. Weather. It's comedy. Yeah, it keeps you fresh. Keeps the guests fresh backstage. I was backstage. in my closet. I thought I, have a, I got a few suits to put on, and I thought I'm not going to wear a suit. I'm going to give you like this dirty kind of. I call it the Springsteen look. Oh know? yeah. My black yeah. shirt. And I'm kind of yeah. like you know. Uh huh. So what's up? Uh huh. But no, but I, I'm sorry I didn't dress up for you. No, uh, you are always dressed up. You look like you're about to do like uh, taekwondo or something. You look very. I'm about to way, clean your pool. You <laughs> said you said Springsteen just now. Can I ask you a quick question about like the Obamas? Did you hear what I was talking about? The Obamas were on Geffen's yacht with Oprah and uh, Springsteen and Tom Hanks and Paul McCartney. Do you ever do stuff like that? Because I hear about stuff like that and I go, I never get invited to those parties. You Have don't? you not? No, I haven't. Have why you... do you think that is? <laughs> no, but I'm saying, I'm, like... I'm too darn busy. But you're, exactly, you are. You're, you're, yeah, you're yeah. doing a good thing. I'm, I'm, I, sometimes I, I seem to miss that, you know, because yeah. of my kids. And, like, I'll be making a movie, and, uh, you know, the invitation will come and say, come to, you know, Mick Jagger's daughter's wedding or something, you know? And I'm like, I can't. I'm up here in Canada making a movie. And I'll, I'll say to them, I'll say to them, like, can I get out of work to go to Mick Jagger's? Um, daughter's wedding. I'm like, no, you can't get out of work to do that. What a hard life you live. But my, my, my wife will say, nobody feels sorry for you, Alex. But wife always says but, that. Why, She's but, like, nobody feels sorry thing. for you, Alex. Nobody should feel sorry for you because you have a lovely wife. You have a, a brand new daughter or son. He's so We small, have our son, tell. Leo, yes. who was in the room just now, and we yeah. had to change his diaper. Yeah. We we're afraid someone's going to walk in and go, oh, Alec, what's, what happened in here? And then, <laughs> where was the baby? Yeah, yeah sure. But, and, and also, not only the, the, the new baby, but also you have uh, one of the greatest careers of all time, which is... Uh, it's a silly uh, thing we're doing now. Exactly. Right that. now, you are... When I saw your Donald Trump for the first time... I think, like a lot of people... I think, like a lot of people, when I saw your Trump, I went, oh, thank God. <laughs> Somebody has cracked that nut. Do you like doing it? Well, it's amazing. I think more than anything, it's kind of eerie, actually, that more than anything I've ever done, people come up to me and say something to me on the streets. You live in New York, and you're on the streets, and people are saying things to you all the time. And my daughter, Carmen, our daughter, Carmen, is about three and a half. She's very... Uh, I call her the reincarnation of Elaine Stritch. Mm -hmm. She's... Uh, uh, thank you that you got that. Thank you. And uh, uh, the... Uh, People will walk up to me, and I'll be... We'll be putting Carmen in her little stroller, and someone will walk by very quietly and go... They're always like thanking me for the Trump thing. And my daughter Carmen looks at me and goes, I don't like you. <laughs> like, like, enough of this slapping my dad on the back and congratulating him. Just go away. What's, uh, what's, your, uh, what's your hook in? Like, what is the thing that you have to do? Is it, is it, is it your face? Is it the hair? Is it the hands? Is it the voice? What is the they thing? They would you? sit there in SNL. They're always uh, coaching you. you know, I was going to go do a movie this past summer. And Lauren would say, I want you to come and do Trump on the show. And I go, uh, uh, I said, I, you get, you know, Trump, Lauren. I know, oh, you I want know. you to come do Trump? I'd, I'd like yeah. you to do your Trump, please. Come and do Trump <laughs> every Saturday for 18 consecutive weeks. <laughs> so, uh, the, so I said, I'm going to go do this film, and the film fell apart. 
And it was kind of weird. It was like all of a sudden the movie just ended. I'm not going to do the movie. So I pick up the phone. I call Lauren. I go, I'm Trump. Here I come. I'm, I'm on my way. And you know, we get into the room and they show us uh, footage of him. And I think it was really just like to make it as, um, it's totally a caricature. You know, you just pick a few things. Like I'm sitting in the room. And I'm going, you know, left eyebrow up, right eyebrow down. <laughs> shove your face out. You're trying to suck the chrome off the fender of a car. You're like, <laughs> let's do this. Hey. Now, Trump isn't your first uh, sort of questionable president uh, you have experience with, because I found out you went to GW, right? Yes. George Washington University. You ran for... Uh, president of the school. A president of the school. Shot for the top, okay? And I'm really jealous, because Nixon is my guy. He's my president. Is he? Because I remember, like, the Watergate hearings. That's my first introduction <clears throat> to presidency. And you got this fantastic letter, a letter. from Nixon letter right from there. Nixon. Yeah. From Richard Nixon himself. He calls you Alex. In you know this. what the greatest part of this thing is? Yes. Is, he, is he writes, from our mutual friend Mark Weinberg, I have learned of the disappointing results as far as you are concerned. <laughs> No, it's as really far nice. As, you are as far as you concerned, of the recent George Washington University student body elections, the important thing is that you cared enough to enter the arena. Enter the arena. <laughs> are yeah. you going to ever re-enter the arena? <clears throat> you, no, you, no. Come on. But you, you know, know as well as I do. Entertainers can be presidents. But I think now. that Trump. But I think you tell me what you think because you uh, did one of the most astute, you know, like super political shows for years, and that is, I think that Trump. Uh, it's not going to swing back. Uh, it's not going to stay that way. Meaning. It's not going to open the door for non-traditional candidates. No, 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 no. It goes, have... basically, it goes competency, incompetency, competency. Right, right. <laughs> it, 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 yeah. it goes crazy, safe, crazy, safe. Yeah, exactly. But, yeah, but, but, but uh, Clinton, but Clinton, I... Bush, Obama, Trump, yeah, yeah. swing back to, like, some guy who's, like, governor next year of, of yeah. you know, like, of any Nevada. Place. Be, really, right. of any place would be nice. Who cares? Sure. Who really care at this point? The guy from Governor's so Island would down. be fine. Governor's Anything. Island. Anything. The mayor of Governor's Island. We've got to take a little break, uh, but we'll be right back with Alec Baldwin and his new book, Nevertheless. Nevertheless.